Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today Apple has released a really important update iOS 15.1 the latest update to iOS 15 and of course it brings some new features and changes and some of them are actually very important and quite big features. So in this video we're going to take a look at these new features and changes and of course everything else there is to know about this update. Now another thing you need to know is about the like button on this video. It is really important. It helps out a lot so I would really appreciate if you guys could leave a like on the video. Starting things off with the size of the update now ios 15.1 will be quite a big update it should come to your device at around four to five gigs that of course depending on which device you have and which software you have currently installed on your device but expect to be quite a large a large file four to five gigs that of course always depending on the device now the build number for ios 15.1 is 19b74 this is the new build number for iOS 15.1. Now before you want to update to iOS 15.1, there is something you need to know if you already have iOS 15.1, on beta because a lot of people i know have installed the beta of ios 15.1 then you should go ahead and remove the profile if you are still on beta and not on the rc version so if you're on one of the betas go to settings go to general go to vpn and device management and remove the profile from here and then of course you will get the update the public release of ios 15.1 but if you have already installed the rc version of ios 15.1 on your device then you don't need to do anything you won't get an update because that's actually the public update of ios 15.1 is the same same build number so you won't get any software update at all moving on to the new features and changes of ios 15.1 now the biggest features that you will get with ios 15.1 are on facetime so ios 15.1 gets share play and screen sharing as well now these are some of the features that ha apple has actually focused a lot during wwdc 2021 when they presented ios 15 to us but then on the public release of ios 15 these features had been removed but now you can use them with ios 15.1 so you can see while on a facetime call you can tap right there and you can share your screen with someone you're on a call with so right there you can see it starts actually counting down and now you can go ahead and share the screen with anyone you want and that is of course really cool and very very useful as well so let's just do it from the other device here so let's just stop that so if i go ahead and go to the other device i can share the screen of that device i have here an ipad pro i can go ahead and share the screen of that device to my iphone right here and you can see that is the screen of the other device right there so really really cool i can have the screen of the other device right here live you can see how smooth it is it works really really well so let's just quickly end this here and another feature is of course share play so basically it lets you share anything you're playing with people on facetime like music or movies and stuff like that so if i go right here while on a facetime call you can see connect will share play automatically that will connect share play automatically and of course you can go ahead and tap the play button and just share anything you're listening to with the people on facetime this is the biggest features of course of ios 15.1 again share play and also screen sharing two of the biggest features that apple has added to ios 15. And you will also find new settings here for share play if you go to share play under the facetime settings you will find here a button to enable it and then you will also have here share play automatically so you will have the apps which support share play and you can choose whether you want to do that automatically once you start using that app while on the facetime call or not of course anything can be enabled or disabled from here there are some other changes on the settings app as well so if we go to the camera app you will notice now we have there a button to enable or disable show detected text now that used to be live text it's basically the same feature but now it has been renamed by apple and we also have a new icon for announce calls so for announce calls on phone or also on facetime you will get a new little icon 
A really useful new feature can be found on the Photos app. If you go to search something like I'm searching for pet here, you can see now you will have suggested searches. So you have pet there and you can see we have flower, we have plant, we have clothing. You can go ahead and choose any of those categories from, from those suggestions and just like that easier search the Photos app. When you go to one of your photos on iOS 15.1 and you want to edit those, you will see right here, the filters icon has now been redesigned on iOS 15.1. That's a, like a little change that has happened with iOS 15.1. With 15.1, of course, Apple also enables ProRes, but that's of course limited to only the newer devices. And not all the new devices, just the iPhone 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max and only on devices that have bigger storages. Not on the, on the 128, you won't get ProRes there, just on the higher storages available. So that's, of course, really, really bad. Not all the users will be able to enjoy that, but again, according to Apple, you need to have more storage to have that feature. Another change on iOS 15.1, notify when left behind will be paused temporarily for your Apple AirPods if you haven't connected them on a, for a long time to your device that's new with 15.1 and also you will get this new little icon for battery charging for your apple watch so when the battery of the apple watch is fully charged you get this notification but now it has a new little icon on the calendar app if you go to your calendars right here and you go to one of those like that you can go ahead and change the color here but now you also have custom colors so you can basically pick from any color you want not just from the list any color you want and set that color for that calendar just pick anything you want and now you can have custom colors here for your calendars there is a change on the weather app as well and this one is very welcome so when you go to the temperature here and you tap on see more now you will have this on the light mode now previously on ios 15 these used to be like dark all the ui elements right here basically it didn't matter whether your device was on dark mode or light mode everything here used to be on the dark mode but now it has changed and of course it looks much much better and iOS 15.1 also will add support for lossless audio for the HomePod. This is a new feature, which is quite big, of course, for HomePod users. That's a really big feature that Apple has brought to iOS, and now you can use it with your HomePod as well. Now, talking about bugs with iOS 15.1, there is a bug that has been reported for a long time, and that's the storage bug. Now, a lot of people have reported that this has been fixed, but there are still reports that this hasn't been fixed. Basically, it's happening to some people. It's not happening again to some others, but there is a lot of reports that this is still present on iOS 15.1, and it's a storage issue where you have a lot of storage, of course, free, but you will get a pop-up saying that your storage is low, or you would get basically right here, this line filled all the way up here, showing that you don't have free storage, even though you have plenty of free storage on your device that is of course very very annoying now some bugs that i have encountered with the widgets that's one that i encounter quite a lot if i add a lot of widgets to the home screen most of them once load they will just like show like blank here like just a black black widget without any information and i will have to reboot my device in order for those to go back to work and also i have noticed here this bug with the keyboard not appearing here on the app library that has happened a lot it has happened for me since the first beta of ios 15 and is still happening on ios 15.1 Moving on to performance and battery life, of course, a very, very important parts of any software and any device. Now performance, iOS 15.1, quite good. We can go to the history right here on the Geekbench and you can see the tests that I did right here. Now this one right here is iOS 15. So the single core score was about 1600. So we have 1,599 while we have 1,605 a slight improvement right there on ios 15.1 while we have the same here for multi-core score 4195 and again a very slight improvement but again 
the performance is good. I didn't have any like major issues with iOS 15 since beta one. And of course with iOS 15.1 as well, performance is quite good. So if you're just worried about installing iOS 15 based on its performance, go ahead and install it right now. It's a great update. Moving on to battery life. Now battery life has been very consistent for me since the beginning of iOS 15. Since beta one, actually, I didn't notice any like major problems with battery at all, even though of course this is a newer device and it has the battery on quite good condition, 99% right there. So you'd expect to have good battery life, but again, no software issues whatsoever. And I was 15.1, again, the same, no issues, no battery draining or stuff like that. In my experience, the battery life is quite good. So if you're worried about that, you shouldn't be worried at all. And now, should you update or not? Of course you should. If you have iOS 15 on your device, make sure you go ahead and update as soon as possible to iOS 15.1. Now the best thing I recommend people do is go ahead and enable auto update. So go to general right here, software update, and make sure you have everything set on automatic. So anytime a new update comes out, you don't have to worry about updating your device. You will get everything installed automatically. And if you're on iOS 14 still and don't have iOS 15 at all on your device, I suggest it's time to go ahead and install it. It's quite a good update. It has some amazing features. And with the addition of the two big new features, share play, and of course, screen sharing, that will be really amazing. They are very, very useful and probably will have a lot of fun using those features. So make sure you go ahead and update your device to iOS 15. And last but not least, we're talking about the future updates of iOS 15 and in particular iOS 15.2, which will be of course the bigger update, even though we probably will have smaller updates in the meantime to fix any bugs that might come out like iOS 15.1.1 or stuff like that. But as far as iOS 15.2 goes, I would expect Apple in about a week or so, within a week actually, to release the first beta of iOS 15.2. That should be really, really interesting to see what new features Apple will include with iOS 15.2 because on iOS 15.1, there weren't so that many new features, even though it has some really interesting ones, but there are a lot of like things to do on iOS 15.2 and actually add more new features. So let's see what happened, but we should expect to see that update really, really soon. But again, you can expect that next week, probably beta one of iOS 15.2 will be next week. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and you enjoy iOS 15.1. Go ahead and subscribe for more videos if you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like and also I will see you guys on the next one.